Hi there, Sean the Squirrel here, and in this video I'll be showing you how to connect online to Conquer Live and Reloaded. This works on every Xbox console, ranging from the very beginning of the original, 360, and Xbox One consoles, and its newer series variants. I'll be demonstrating each one here, and while I don't have the series console, the process is still the same on the Xbox One and later. What you'll need is an Xbox console, either a physical or digital copy of Conquer Live and Reloaded, a computer, X-Link Kai installed on said computer, an Ethernet cable, and an Ethernet to USB adapter. All Xbox consoles are compatible with Conquer Live and Reloaded, including the newer Xbox Series S and X consoles. With the exception of the all-digital edition of the Xbox One S and the Xbox Series S models, all Xbox consoles will work with the physical copy of the game. Luckily, you don't need to have a physical copy of the game, as you can purchase Conquer Live and Reloaded for 10 US dollars. That's like Steam sale levels of dirt cheap, and I highly recommend getting it, as it works on 360 and Xbox One and above. And it's a single purchase, too, so no need to worry about subscriptions. For my PC of choice, I'll be using my Microsoft Surface Pro 2 that has Windows 10 as its operating system. Xlink Kai is the application that we'll need to install on our computer, and you'll need to create an account in order for us to use its service. Don't worry, it's completely free, and you don't need to have an Xbox Live Gold subscription. A link will be provided in the description. An Ethernet cable is pretty common nowadays. It's a very common cable. You'll usually find these connected to consoles, usually directly connected to your wireless router or modem. If you don't have one lying around, you can easily purchase one at your local retail store or online. Amazon is probably your best choice. To make things super easy and straight to the point, I'll be using my Nintendo Switch Ethernet adapter as it does the job and it's more recognizable for people to understand. With all the requirements listed, I'll show you the step-by-step -step process on getting everything set up. Once you have installed Xlink Kai and have made an account over there, go ahead and plug in the Ethernet to USB adapter, this Nintendo Switch adapter if you haven't noticed, to an open USB port on your computer. Next, connect the Ethernet cable into the adapter. Then, connect the other end of the Ethernet cable into your Xbox console. I'll be going in order from original Xbox to 360 and Xbox One. Now go on your computer and run Xlink Kai. Click on Yes to the pop-up window message, and Kai will start to load by opening up your default web browser of choice. Now, enter in your Xbox Kai account name and password. Once done, you're going to start up your original Xbox and make sure your copy of Conquer Live and Reloaded is in. As you can see, uh, my case is empty, so mine is already in. While the game is booting up, go ahead and on your computer with Xlink Kai still running, Go into Game Arenas, scroll on the left side on the screen until you see Xbox. Click it, and scroll down further until you see Third Person Shooter. Click it, and then click on Conquer Live and Reloaded. Once you're in the arena, go back to your Xbox console and enter in the Xbox Live area. Now you want to select System Link, not Xbox Live, System Link. Press A on it, and select Join Game. Now back to your computer with Kai still running, click on the Metric tab on the page. Scroll down and you should now see your Xbox detected on Xlink Kai. You should now be able to connect online with Conquer Live and Reloaded. To make sure that I am, I asked a friend to create a game by hosting on Kai, so all I have to do is join his game and wait until the match starts. And 
And there you go. I am playing Conquer Alive and Reloaded, no line with a friend. As a reminder, you need to select System Link to connect. Not Xbox Live, System Link. Now on to the 360. Same with the original Xbox, you want to make sure your Ethernet cable is connected to the adapter and to your 360 in the back. Once everything is connected, turn on your 360. When you're at the sign-in screen, select your profile and you'll see a pop-up saying that you can't connect to Xbox Live and ask if you want to go into your network settings to fix it. You want to select No and it will bring you to your home menu. I'll be using my digital purchase of Conquer Live and Reloaded for this. Same as before, on your computer, start up Xlink Kai, sign in, go find the Conquer Live and Reloaded Arena, make sure on your 360 you go into System Link and not Xbox Live in the multiplayer menu. Checking my metrics tab, Kai has detected my 360 and says that everything has been configured correctly. As you can see, my friend is still hosting, so I'll go ahead and join in to show that everything works. And as you can see, everything works and I can play Conquer live and reloaded online again. But now on a 360 console. Another reminder, go into System Link, not Xbox Live, System Link when using Xlink Kai. Finally, the Xbox One and its series variants. A few more steps need to be done, but it's not that hard to follow. Before we directly connect our Ethernet cable to our Xbox One console, we need to go into its system settings to make sure it doesn't have a wireless connection. And if you're prompt to do a system update that happens out of the blue, go ahead and do so because that way it won't interfere with this tutorial. Once that's done, go ahead and sign in and go into settings. Then to network settings, Go to where it says disconnect wireless and hit A. And as you can see, there's no ethernet cable connected yet. Once that's done, go into power mode and startup. Select the power mode to energy saving. Then go to full shutdown to turn off the Xbox One. Wait for it to turn off automatically, and then connect the Ethernet cable to the back of the Xbox One. Turn the console back on. And sign in again. And as I said before, I have purchased it digitally for 10 US dollars and works on both my 360 and my Xbox One. If you do end up using a physical copy of Conquer Live and Reloaded, your Xbox One will then download the game to your hard drive, with you only needing to have to use a disc for DRM purposes to play it. While Conquer is booting up, go ahead and get Excellent Kai ready again for the third time in this case, and follow the same steps from earlier. Start Excellent Kai. Sign in, go to Game Arenas, 
go to Xbox, go to third person shooter, go to Conquer Live and Reloaded. On the Xbox One, head to the multiplayer menu and go to System Link. Go to Join Game. On over on Kai, your metrics tab should show your console being detected. It may give you a weird error about like the IP not working, but this is normal behavior for using an Xbox One on Xlink Kai. And as you can see, the Ethernet cable is connected to the Xbox One in the back to the adapter on the computer. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and special thanks to Back Conquer from the Conquer Live and Reloaded Discord server for helping me out by setting up a game match for the purpose of this video tutorial. Speaking of which, we have Conquer Live and Reloaded online meetups every Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Xlink Kai, and we generally come out as number two as the most amount of people playing online, just behind Halo 2. We hope you can join in on the fun, and hope this tutorial will be the guide you need to connect to others. We use Discord to communicate, and a link to the server will be in the description.